first responders. I can't say enough about the first responders that were here, went in, you know, they run in when everybody else is running out, and they ran in and, and took care of these folks, and the police and fire and EMS, and, you know, we're, it's, it was an amazing night. We had people that were, that were so disoriented, they were wandering out down the road through the fields and the woods trying to get to, to safety and figure out where they could go and, and uh, our great all right guys so this is what you face in lawn care so i already delivered a ton of, of rock this morning like literally a ton two thousand pounds worth of rock spread it down there i go and get another load as you can see back there in the trailer and by the time i get back well you can see let's get, let's get out and look at this So I already got, got some snow coverage. Well, I've already got the rock on the trailer. So I'm not gonna let this stop me. So let's get at it. All right, so this section's done, finally. It ended up taking four ton. Did uh, one ton yesterday and then three tons today. Got all that through there, so you can see what's new. It kinda looks like the state of South Carolina a little bit, but anyway. Uh, this right here, like I said, I'm gonna sow grass down through there, just accent it a little bit. This part of the property, floods really bad anyway so there's a good possibility that the grass won't even grow but we're going to attempt it because this lot is like a fishbowl it's just like a so it's almost i've even asked you guys for how how would you strop it but anyway all the water just kind of settles here and you can look right there wait sorry right there is the drain drainage ditch at the end of that rock so, and it comes out on down the hill down there. But anyway, thank goodness that part of, part's over. Let's see, four ton, 8,000 pounds with that. Yeah, I'm glad that part's over. Now, I'm gonna run, get the block or the rock to do this right here, outline it. Still gotta do the edging, still gotta put the dirt in, grass seed, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, all right, catch you up on that. All right, so I got this outlined. What was in there before was little rocks like this that were outlining it. You see how small those are? Well, all of us in lawn care know that you hit a rock that big or, hold on, even like that with a trimmer, it's gonna send it sailing. Well, what the guys that did before, they outlined this whole thing and those little two inch rock. And every time I'd weed eat, of course it'd sling them off in the yard. Just luckily enough, the house is that far away, so probably wouldn't hit a window, but still, then you're gonna hit the rock with your mower. So anyway, we took all that, those two inch rock out, and we went, and the options at the um, place where you get mulch and rock had six to 14 inch. Now why that's all in one category, I don't know. It looks like it'd be like six to eight, 10 to 12, so on and so on, but it wasn't. So, since this is so steep right here, I know it's hard to tell from a camera angle, but that's a good drop off. I took the biggest ones. Of course, you don't get near as many big ones as you do little ones. 
And since they're the heaviest and would have more danger of sliding off, I put them up here in the front. And then as you go around, that guy should have been up front, but anyway, as you go around the six, eight inch ones, I put around the back of it. So I thought that turned out awfully nice, but another 2000 pounds. That's 8,000 a day. And yes, I just like saying that. I know it's four ton, but you go home and say, hey, honey, I unloaded four ton of rock today by hand. Doesn't sound like you did a whole lot. Go home and say, hey, I unloaded 8,000 8, pounds of rock today by hand. Wow, you must be exhausted. Ah, a little humor for me anyway. Y'all might not like it, but it kind of cracks me up. And it makes you feel like you did a lot more. Okay, so of course the black mulch is still going in there. That's the old mulch. I've just got all the weeds and stuff out, just cover that up. So that's this part of that. And uh, yeah, thankfully the next step is edging and mulch. Then we'll just have the topsoil and grass seed. All right, stay tuned. Hey everybody, okay. I've just been doing updates on this so this is where i'm at it's about 3 30 saturday afternoon and i'm knocking off because frankly i'm tired <laughs> and all that right there just kind of whipped my tail back's a little sore so i'm going to recuperate spend some time with the family the rest of today and tomorrow heal up a little bit and hit it hardcore monday but to update you that's complete now. It's all done. River rock around it and new mulch. Let's see if I can have brand new pretty mulch in there. That was two yards. Two yards of mulch. So I got that. You can see I got the landscape rings around those four guys. Landscape rings around there, around there, and around there. Now, on those three in the back, you can see where you got the rings laid out and the stakes are right on each rock. So Monday when I come out here, just zip them in and then start throwing mulch out. Looks to me like all day Monday, I'm just gonna be doing mulch. I've got that big bed to do right there. Those four, those two, that one, those three, and then those two in the background. Let me see if you can see those a little better. Those guys. So that's what Monday's gonna entail. I'd say, like I said, y'all know I'm just a one man crew. So that'll probably take all day because I can only get, I put a yard in my truck bed and a yard on the trailer because any more than that, it's just gonna hurt that axle. So I can get two yards at a time. And I'm thinking, what, probably four or six yards maybe, something like that. We'll see though. I, I guess I made this all wrong already. I thought we were gonna have two ton of rock and we ended up with five, so we'll see. But like you, luckily the homeowner's understanding because this is his second go around with it. And I think he knew I, I underestimated it a little bit, but We'll see. Anyway, I'll pick it up on Monday. All right, guys, a little update. It's Monday, right before lunch. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven already done this morning started way back there got one wheelbarrow load right there so we've got to get that that one that one one two three three four five and then let's see that one over there so I thought it was a pretty daunting task to get all the mulch done today but since I've already got that much done that little that little bed and those I can get that today and if I can I want to get that topsoil right here and the grass seed and we can call this one done but like I said I just wanted to take it step by step that's where I'm at now so I'll catch you up after the next two yards oh yeah um told you that took two yards two yards on all this two wheelbarrows two wheelbarrow two two wheelbarrow loads two two and i think that one took five two, four, six eight ten twelve yeah i got 18 wheelbarrows out of two yards so that's how, how much mulch we got down so far so it's four yards total i know it's going to take six Let's see if we hit eight or not. All right. Okay, next update. Another two yards. Got all that. Those little center pieces over there. And then you can see, I gotta put like one shovel full right in there. But got all that. But yeah, that part right there just drank it like crazy. You can see the little tulips that's gonna come up through there. But there's that. So now what's left? That, 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 one, two, three. So, so far we've got two, four, six cubic yards of mulch in here. I'm gonna, going to get two more right now. I doubt it'll do it. I hope it will, but I doubt it. But we'll try. All right, I'll get to you on the next one. All right, so the sun's getting ready to go down here in, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes. Show you what I got done that those guys there now I know this looks weird let me zoom in on it these little things right here there's a big rock in each one of them I don't know the guy that did it before did that so I just refreshed the mulch and then right there. So to recap, those four up there, that one, that one, and that one. Two yards of mulch. That, that, two yards of mulch. That, I already told you, two yards of mulch. Now, spin around. This one, those two, that, that and that three yards of mulch so so far for keeping count that's well shoot i already forgot that's seven yards today nine i think we're at nine or ten yards of mulch i'm gonna have to recheck it of course before i finish the video i'll know for a fact so we're at least at nine yards of mulch and 
five ton of rock. And then this right here, this dip, I went to the same place and got some topsoil. As you can tell, it's not the best topsoil in the world. A lot of rocks in it, but I'm working on another plan for that. Um, Cause I'm supposed to fill in all that and sow that with grass and I still got to sow that up there, the grass. But I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. So stay tuned, maybe half a day tomorrow. Be out of here with a little luck, but watch it rain. So, but anyway, stay tuned. We'll finish it up tomorrow. All right, I feel like singing, but I'm gonna spare you all that misery. So, finally finished. So what I'm gonna do, start at the street view and just go around and show you each individual thing. Okay, we got the tree, got all those branches trimmed, the one out of, hanging out over the road gone and all these so light can get in. And hopefully the new grass that I just sown will grow. Okay, so we got that. We got one, two, three, and four. Each one of those, those two wheelbarrow loads of mulch, two wheelbarrow loads of mulch, two, four wheelbarrow loads. Sorry, walking down the hill here. And of course it's raining. But I thought what better time to sow grass seed than when it's raining. Okay, then we got this little peninsula, whatever you want to call it right there. And boom, 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 boom. Like I said, they did that, not me. I just put the mulch back in it. That was two yards. Now, this right here, all where my hand is. Two on that. Anyway, so just this. Y'all know that around through there was there. But this is where... The first trip was 1,300 and some pounds. Second trip was 1,800 and some pounds. Just wet, sticky, worse than mud leaves. So that came out there. All that fresh grass seed and straw, grass seed and straw. This floods real bad down here, so I grass seeded all that. Okay. Then y'all know I told you two yards of mulch went in there. And then there, there, and those trees took a total of three cubic yards of, of mulch. So, and then I may or may not have made a little tire track up through there, but went ahead and reseeded it. So that's it. I'm gonna walk up to the front porch and give you a view from the other side. Now this, remember, <clears throat> this part got canceled, kind of. We're gonna do it just at a later date. I gotta fill in this and sow it with grass seed. I went and got a load of topsoil and it's just really cruddy topsoil. So, I know this part looks okay, but trust me, underneath there, it's awful. So whenever I find another place that has some good topsoil, I'm just gonna get a load, bring it out here and do it. So, but just so we can call this done and I can move on to another job, we're good to go. So like I said, I'm gonna walk up here, let you get it from this side. Now, oh yeah, whenever I got here today, we had, that's granite, that bench, it's pretty heavy. So we put it on a golf cart and moved it from way up there to down here. So that's why my mulch is all messed up. But he said he's gonna be working in there more. He'll straighten it out. So there you go, guys. Uh, let's see. As y'all know, I'm solo. So all this was done one wheelbarrow at a time by yours truly. And I had a little less than 40 hours in it. I figured up last night I had 37 hours in it, 37 hours, 15 minutes. And I've been out here maybe two hours today. So right under 40 hours, I'm not gonna tell you what the price was on it, but that's how much time I had in it for one person doing all this. So you can let me know if that's good, bad, 
whatever. But at my age and my back, that's the best I could do. Now, one more thing I want to talk about. We didn't do, I didn't give the customer an estimate on this before I did it. He's like, and I don't recommend doing that ever, but I've got a really good relationship with this customer and we talked about it and he's like, Nick, I trust you. Just do it because it's going to change as we go. Like we went, anyway, we went from two ton of rock to five ton of rock, went from four yards of mulch, to nine yards of mulch. So it just kept growing and he knew that was going to happen. So you're always kind of nervous whenever you give them the bill, whenever they have no idea what it's going to be. But amazingly I get, and he's like, oh yeah, that's fair. I was like, great, sweet. So um, apparently my pricing was fair or, or maybe even too cheap, who knows. But anyway, uh, be sure and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, hit the like button, subscribe if you, if you don't mind. And I'm going to have that 2020 trailer set up video up soon. I can't wait to get it up. A lot of things changed this time and I hope y'all really like it. So be watching for that next pretty day that hopefully this weekend, if it's pretty, I'll shoot it and get it up and y'all can check it out. But for now, let's go grind it out and, um, see y'all next time. Thanks a lot.